And welcome back. Well, if the new year has you inspired to organize, have you thought about taking a look at your medicine cabinet? Here now with beauty with us now is beauty, fashion, and lifestyle correspondent Stacy Cox with some advice on what we can do to keep and toss from our medicine cabinet. Good morning, Stacy. Hi, Tiffany. Good morning, guys. It's great to be with you. Thanks for being with us. You know, we think about organizing the closets or the rooms, but really getting into that medicine cabinet, where do we start? Well, you got to take a deep breath, Tiffany, and just shake out your hands and prepare for battle and grab a trash can and start to read labels, figure out which medicines have expired, figure out which makeups smell a little bit off and things, what's ready to release and, and toss in that can with love. And then one tip I was going to tell everybody that's watching is to take a permanent marker, mark on the bottles that you're keeping, mark on new things that you're bringing in that you're excited about when you bought it or when you kind of think it's going to expire. So the next time we do this little experiment, it takes the guesswork out of the equation. I think those are great tips because I recently moved and as I was kind of forced to oh, clean things out, yeah. I had, I can't even tell you how many old mascaras and old pill bottles that I'd never used. Maybe yeah. I had bronchitis once and, and they were all expired and you yeah. have to get rid of that. So once we clean things out you and do. clear it out, what do we restock with? Okay. So what you've got to what you've got to get on your radar are a couple iconic drugstore brands, and you got to think about the fact that like right now we're at the peak of flu and cold season. Thirty million people are dealing with symptoms of cold and flu, and a leader in the category for the last 50 years is Robitussin, and they've got two new products to be aware of. The first one is Robitussin DM Max liquid filled capsules. Tiffany, they are nothing short of awesome. You can put them in your briefcase or your purse, or if you're about to travel on a business trip, throw them in your travel bag. They will so help you with cough and cold related symptoms. The other thing they created was the Robitussin DM Max Nighttime. Great to help you get the sleep you need when you're just not feeling right with the world. And their website is Robitussin.com. And then another product I bought, brought with me that I think you're going to react to is Vaseline Jelly. Got to have it. You know, with the, right. See, I, I, I'm like, I was waiting for that cue from like, come on, <laughs> Tiffany. I'm like, I know you know, I know you know this one. Um, but it's such an important product to have in your medicine cabinet. It is what I think of as the ultimate wonder jelly. And it's the original dry skin healer. It deeply moisturizes to heal dry skin that occurs when you're dealing with poor health or maybe a medicine you're taking, or it's just been so cold out in the environment lately. But it, this product goes back to 1870. So it has a long history. And I re the reason it has it is because it has this skin moisturizing mechanism. What that does, it's a one-two punch. So it, it penetrates dry skin down deep. But that's the first thing it does. But then it penetrates and helps that barrier surface on your skin, that surface layer. And then what you can do with it is for girls or guys is throw it on your feet, throw socks on over the Vaseline and let it work its magic while you sleep. It's going to hit those heels, soles of your feet. It's going to help moisturize the cuticles. And then for girls, and I thought you'd like this one, Tiffany, take a dab of Vaseline, mix it with loose shadow, eyeshadow or blush, and it's going to add a little bit of extra hydration into your makeup application. Very cool. That's a great tip. And I use right. it on the cuticles. I actually, I love little packages. Yeah. So the new little one I'm obsessed with. And I just use that on my cuticles because they get so dry this time of year. Yeah, and they have a really good um, Facebook page. I looked on their face. I liked them on Facebook at Vaseline US. And they had some great tips, which I thought were useful. And another thing I was going to tell everybody watching is if you have a contact lens case, it's just sitting around, just fill it with whatever you need, like uh, stain remover, hand cream, lip balm, and throw that and take that with you on the go. Smart. I like that one. Yeah. Any last pieces of advice? You've got some really good nuggets for us, Stacey. Well, um, take your old toothbrush that you're about to trash and run your toothbrush over your lips, um, and that's going to get rid of dead skin and get blood flow and circulation to your pout and your pucker for Valentine's Day. Perfect. Thanks for being here with us, <laughs> Stacey. We appreciate it. It was fun. Absolutely. You're great. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. You too.